Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna present you with the latest Android TV box from a great Chinese TV box manufacturer called ZoomTac. It's the T8 and let's get to it. The device is black with an exceptional build quality which might be the best I've seen so far and it is mostly constructed by aluminium. It feels very sturdy and has an excellent soft metallic feel on the hand. On the top we see the ZoomTac logo printed on the device's body. On the left side we have some ventilation grills. On the right side we also have some ventilation grills along with the SD card slot, 3 USB 2.0 ports and a reset hole. And on the back there's the adjustable external Wi-Fi antenna, the DC input, the Ethernet port, the HDMI output an RCA output and an SPDIF optical audio output. So long story short, the device's ports are an SD card slot, 3 USB 2.0 ports, a reset hole, a DC input, an Ethernet port, the HDMI output, an RCA output, an SPDIF optical audio output and a power on off button. If we flip the device we see the rubber pads and some more ventilation grills. Looking at the front we see the IR receiver, the digital clock and the power button which has a beautiful blue LED when it's on and a red LED when it's off, as well as the ZoomTac T8 logo. When you first power on the T8, you see a beautiful and very professional boot animation featuring the company's logo. ZoomTag has done a great job incorporating their own launcher into the Android 4.4 the device runs. It consists of some non-editable big tiles which have shortcuts for the most basic applications of the device which are Kodi, Browser, Video Player, Music Player, Settings, a Task Killer, the Clock and Weather Info, the App Drawer and the Big Live Tile showing us some user tips. We also have a Favorites tab where we can add shortcuts of the applications we use the most and access them very easy. In the Settings we have 4 tabs. Net where we see our wireless networks and Ethernet connection, display where we have the HDMI options, advanced where we find the Miracast function and sound settings, and other where we can see our model number, Android version, update our system or go to the stock Android settings. We can of course choose our own launcher. I personally prefer the Nova launcher because it's simple and very fast to use. I have to mention that the device is pre-rooted which is a good move from ZoomTag, saving us probably hours of searching to do it ourselves. The ZoomTac T8 is a very powerful device featuring a quad-core Amlogic S805 CPU running at 2GHz, 2GB of DDR3 RAM memory, 8GB of internal storage, dual-band Wi-Fi 802.11 ABGN, Bluetooth 4. I run some benchmarks to show you the device's performance. The first benchmark is GFX Bench and here are the results. Next I run on to the benchmark and got 29,996 points. And finally 3D Mark gave me 5609 points. Not so powerful I can say, but when it comes to video playback, it yields excellent results with the exception of H265 videos which were choppy and unwatchable. I also tested the Wi-Fi reception of the device and found out that it's great due to the external adjustable antenna. I tried some test videos on pre-installed Kodi 14.2 and got great results. The only problem as I mentioned before was the H265 video playback which was choppy and unwatchable. Kodi runs great with no hiccups and lags giving us a great user experience. I remember this thing. I'm trying to solve this, okay? How were you solving? 
This is a great device serving you as a mini Android PC and a very capable media player. It gives you the ability to use it as a code streamer and of course run a very wide range of applications found in the Google Play Store. Pros, 3 USB 2.0 ports, external adjustable Wi-Fi antenna, dual band Wi-Fi, excellent build quality, digital clock, no heat issues, great media playback including 4K videos, high quality internal components, great and simple zoom tack launcher, cons, choppy and unwatchable H265 video play Playback. Lack of native USB gamepad support. You can use wireless gamepads though. I hope you liked my review. Stay tuned for more. And as always, for more unboxings, reviews, and tutorials, subscribe, share, and follow me. Thanks and bye bye.